Hello, today is Saturday. I have just over one week until my last exam of med school. So I'm going to head to the hospital to get a bit of studying in. I've seen you in a movie, I heard you in a song. Now I know that this will never go wrong. Like you already knew me, that's why we get along. Yeah, I know that this will never go. Okay, so I just finished my study session at the hospital. The hospital has these huge windows, which is lovely because it's so nice and sunny out. And now I'm gonna head home and squeeze in a little bit of a workout to give my brain a break. Hello, today is Sunday. It's another day of studying for me. I'm currently reviewing the criteria to determine neurologic death for organ donation. It's actually pretty interesting. There's like a lot of weird tests that you do to make sure that like there's no brain activity. But one thing I found interesting is like you can still have spinal reflexes. So like reflexes below the brain stem, such as like a patellar reflex where you hit the knee with a hammer, that can be present in somebody who's actually brain dead, which physiologically it makes sense, but it's just weird that someone dead can still like have that neuromuscular connection and still move. We actually did a lot of neurologic determination of death for organ donation in the ICU when I was there, and I got to help like perform the physical exams. And I have to say it's one of the most bizarre things to like open somebody's eyes and look at their face and look at their eyes when nothing is going on and they are in fact brain dead. I found it very, I don't know, I found it very unsettling, I think. Good morning. So today is Monday. We have lectures this week, um, but luckily they do not start till 9 a.m. So I woke up kind of early today, gave myself a manicure because priorities, um, but now I'm going to study a bit and then um, I'll head to the hospital for in-person lectures. This visual timer is one of my new favorite study essentials. It's so nice because you can like actually see the time. Um, it's perfect for Pomodoro, so if I need to focus, I set it for 25 minutes. And then if I'm having one of those days where I'm like constantly on my phone, I'll put my phone face down and then put the timer on top of it. And it's like, okay, Kian, no phone for the next 25 minutes. You gotta focus. Never wanted anyone more falling forwards onto the floor. Good evening. So it is just after 6 p.m. My goal is to get started and do three rounds of Pomodoro studying for my TIP exam. And then as a reward, if I'm able to focus and really like hunker down and get some work done, I'm going to clean my keyboard because this is something that has been bothering me. There's like crumbs and dust and it looks disgusting. So I just want to clean it and make it all pretty and nice again. And then I'm also hoping to squeeze in a workout. And also I'm hoping to be pretty much in bed by 9 p.m. So, lots of stuff to cram into the next three hours. I felt this feeling before, before. I've seen you in a movie, I heard you in a song. Now I know that this will never go wrong. Like you already knew me, that's why we get along. Yeah, I know that this will never go wrong. I've seen you in a movie, I heard you in a song. Now I know that this will never go wrong. Oh my god, I'm so sweaty. Okay, can I please all take a moment to appreciate how beautiful and clean my keyboard looks now? Good morning! I'm at my favorite place, Starbucks. Gonna pound out hopefully a couple of hours of studying at 7 o'clock. We don't have lectures till 9 o'clock today. Some friends might be joining me, might not. I feel like the morning study sessions, people like always bail because I'm like, ah, I want to sleep in and I can't blame them. Anyways, hopefully I can study some more tip stuff. Not feeling stressed about this exam yet, but kind of feeling like I should be stressed because I need that stress for motivation and I actually have to pass this test. It's like the last barrier to completing medical school and I would love to graduate with my friends.
a package arrived. I got this warm eye compress. It's microwave activated and it like has moisture. I haven't tried it out yet, but basically I have dry eyes. <laughs> Anytime I like close my eyes on purpose for an extended period of time, they just like water like crazy. And when I saw my ophthalmologist almost a year ago, they were like, mm, you need to be doing a warm compress because your ducts are like clogged. So I'm gonna try this later tonight. I'm super excited and I will report back on how it feels. Anyways, lecture is starting. It started actually. So I'm gonna do some work from home today and I will check in with you later. Okay, what? Anaphylaxis? increased association between upright position and death. So we just finished our morning lectures on palliative care. I'm going to move to my desk for a change of scenery for the afternoon lectures. We've got four hours of oncology teaching. Alrighty, lectures are done. Next step is to tidy up a bit and then have some dinner. I tried out this compress for about a week and I would give it a 10 out of 10. I absolutely love it. My eyes feel a lot better and it's just relaxing in general. So I had a successful morning studying at Starbucks and now we are at the hospital for lectures. So today we are learning how to do serious illness conversations. We're doing some role play on Zoom where we each take a turn being the doctor, being the patient, and then being like a note taker. So the situation today is a patient with pancreatic cancer. I have definitely seen this multiple times as a medical student and it's always incredibly sad to give people this bad news, but hopefully the practice session today goes well. Hello, so I have three days left to study. I've got Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And to be honest, I'm feeling a little overwhelmed, very behind on my studying. So I made a list of all the topics that I wanna to cover. Okay, so this is my list of things that I need to study. I broke it down sort of in a list of priorities. Number one is stuff that I'm like actually genuinely really interested in. So I'm gonna start there. And then orange is things that I think are very relevant to my future based on what I applied for for residency. And of course, you know, all of this is applicable, but some things are probably gonna be a little more relevant. And then in yellow, I highlighted things that I thought would be really high yield for my licensing exam. And then blue is like knowledge gaps, things that I really need to brush up on, like pediatric poisoning. <laughs> I don't know anything about children. I also am really bad at like infectious disease. And then things that are not highlighted is like kind of bottom of the list. I'll get there if I have time, but it's not going to be top of my priority. So yeah, that is the plan for the next three days. So I have been doing my Pomodoros. Mentally, the studying has been very hard to motivate myself to do it. Um, but one thing that I noticed with the Pomodoro is like during the five minute breaks, I find it's like a lot more recharging and my stamina is a lot better if I get up and I move around and I do something away from my desk. That sounds like so basic, but I remember like back in first and second year, a thing that I would usually do during my break is I would just sit at my desk and I'd like scroll on my phone. And that's probably the worst thing you can do during your break because one, your phone's addictive. So it makes like studying seem even less pleasurable. Two, I just found like sometimes it would get very distracting and I'd end up on a rabbit hole, like replying to people's text messages or just finding new issues for me to participate in. And then third, like, I don't know, it's just bad to sit. So yeah, my life hack has been 
to just make a list of all the things that I want to do during my next break. So like here I have do the laundry, um, film like I'm doing right now, do my skincare, etc. So yeah, I guess that would be my my tip that I wish I had followed earlier on when I was pulling long days of studying. Check out my Snorlax bean picture. We are back doing lectures from home. This morning was a small group session on like genetic precision medicine. I, I don't really know what that was about. And now we have four and a half hours of derm. Ordered another tuna poke bowl. This is seriously my most recent addiction. Hello, so it is currently 11 p.m. We made it to the end of the day. I am going to get some sleep so that I can be functional tomorrow for the last day of cramming. This is my list that I made a little while ago that you guys saw. So week one, I pretty much covered that. Week two, <laughs> there's still some stuff that I haven't reviewed. Antibiotics, lol. And then week three is where it's like, mm, yikes, we have not looked at any of this. Good morning, today is Sunday. We have exactly 26 hours until the exam. So yeah, today's gonna be a very full day of me trying my best. Just reviewing some cannabis. It's crazy. I remember cannabis was like just legalized as I started medical school. And now at the end of medical school, they have incorporated cannabis prescriptions into our medical education. Alrighty, it is 3.30 p.m. Still have lots of time left in the day to study. Um, I was studying in bed just now and I was almost falling asleep, so I'm gonna do some jumping jacks, hopefully wake up a bit, and then go back and continue tackling all of my Anki cards. Alrighty, gonna head out for a quick run, clear my head, and then it's back to studying. Oh god, I just saw myself in the mirror. <sighs> Hello, so I'm trying to study this dermatology lecture that was four hours long on Friday. It's not working, it's not happening, nothing's going in my brain. Um, yeah, I'm not a huge fan of derm. I don't know why, I think just the way it's taught doesn't vibe with the way that my brain works. I think that's what it is. I like derm clinic, I like doing biopsies and I also um, really like like cosmetic things, so I don't know why I am having such a hard time with this. Hello, it's me. I'm still here. Um, it's 10 p.m. We are reaching that critical point in the night where I need to decide, is it better to go to sleep and have like a good amount of rest so that I can be mentally sharp tomorrow? Or is it better to stay up and cram more information into my brain? I feel like even after four years of medical school and three years of undergrad, I don't know the answer to that. Um, but for right now, I'm gonna try studying a little bit more. So there's this case book, which I thought would be super helpful for studying. It has like patient presentations, some questions, and then every single answer is like, answer will be provided in the session. So I attended literally all of the sessions and I don't remember any answers being provided. <laughs> they spoke about like, I don't know, if you have like a case about like a UTI, sure, we had discussions about UTIs in general, but specific answers to these cases were not provided. Okay, I'm about to write this exam. I will see you on the other side. <laughs> we made it! TIFF exam is done. Um, 
yeah, it was like a combination of like extremely, extremely, extremely easy questions, like what makes a good physician? And then questions where I was like, hmm, I studied this, but I don't fully remember these specific criteria. But I think overall it was good. Um, <laughs> there's a little bit of drama. We do write our exams on this like exam software and it was not working today. So that was suboptimal. <laughs> But I just thought the whole scenario was kind of funny. Anyways, that's it. That's my last med school exam. The only thing left is the licensing exam. So I'm going to go home, clean up, relax, live my best life. Match day is tomorrow. So I will release a vlog on that after this one. I heard you in a song, now I know that this will never go wrong Like you already knew me, that's why we get along Yeah, I know that this will never go